Hey, I'm Lisa with Lisa Boone Designs. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping in and watching this video. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a very special lady. She is my mother-in-law. We call her Granny. And she recently asked me to paint a piece of furniture. It was my father-in-law's brother and they inherited it when he passed away. And he, she's never had a piece of painted furniture before and she saw my sepia blossoms dresser and she had to have it just like that. Of course, I had to change it up a little bit, but um, here's a tutorial of the first dresser that I did. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. I greatly appreciate your support. Thank you for watching. I hope that this inspires you. Cleaning your furniture really well is the first step in prepping. This was a slick surface so I did use a deglosser after I cleaned it and it was in really great condition so there really wasn't that much to do. So I went ahead and I got it started painting and I used tarnished pearl on the front. Your first coat on a slick surface is going to be a scratch coat. You could sand it down a little bit if you wanted to but I knew that DIY paint would stick. It always dries a little bit lighter than it is when it's wet. On the sides, I had previously made a combination of a green on my original Sepia Blossoms dresser and I used that along with aviary. Are you excited about your piece? Um, I'm anxious to see what it's gonna look like. So what colors did you decide to do? I don't know what you call. <laughs> <laughs> White and green? Green, yeah. With the yellow flowers? Yeah, that'd be pretty. Mm. Have you ever had a piece of painted furniture before? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, where are you going to put this piece when you're done? In the house. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. I was on my live this morning, and Nathaniel said the piece I was doing, he was going to put in the barn. So, pretty much twins. Yeah. Oh, you got to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm So... Back in there by the computer. You're going to put it in there? Mm hmm But it's going to be pretty now. I know. Why is this piece so special? I want to be his brother. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you're going to make it nice and renewed life. Yeah. All right. Spruce it up and make it happy looking. There you go. All right, let's do it. She was so excited and she wanted to try it and she was scared that she was going to mess it up. But seriously, DIY paint is so easy to use. This was her first time painting furniture and look at her. She was a pro. She was so excited. She quickly handed it back to me because she was so nervous about it. <laughs> Isn't she cute? So I painted the sides and the top in the aviary on my first coat. And this is what it looks like when it's dried or drying. It was a very, very hot day. So now this is where I started taking the color that I mixed on my previous dresser along with the aviary. And I started just dipping it in in various locations and just blending it in using my fine mist sprayer. just to give it variation in color. I never like to make over a piece identically. I've, I don't think I've ever done it actually, except for this one. So when she picked the sepia blossoms 
Um, this was her, actually her Mother's Day gift. Um, I knew that I had to make it a little bit different. I, can't, I just can't do it the exact same. And honestly, if I wanted to, I probably couldn't have anyway. Each piece is unique and different and you just kind of have to go with the flow of what it's telling you to do. As you can see, I always paint with my right hand and in my left hand I have my fine mist sprayer. Then I decided to add some stripes, just rugged stripes. I didn't want crisp stripes. I wanted it to look worn and I even sanded down some of the sections um, and I did beadboard on those stripes. Then I applied the Sepia Blossoms decoupage paper by Roy Cycled and I mean it's a beautiful paper you can't go wrong I cut it up in different sections again you can watch any one of my decoupage tutorials in my playlist and I like to place it on my piece in different sections just so that I could see what it's gonna look like and it gives me an opportunity to lay out the design and you can tape it with painters tape and it does not rip and I just applied it with DIY paints liquid patina I always like to use a saran wrap. I didn't have any, so I just used a plastic bag, and it works. It just gets my fingers off of the paper because my fingers will tear it up. And see how easy it is to reposition? Even though it's 18 pound tissue paper, it's super easy to work with. All of the products that are on this video can be found on my website, lisaboondesigns.com. I say this all the time, but it's so true. I really could take a page every day. It is so much fun. And whenever I'm doing a dresser like this or a chest, I do it right over the drawers. I make sure that they're aligned properly. And once the paper is dried after I've decoupaged it, then I'll worry about cutting it. But as you can see, we're, we were just um, in her back porch um, set up and just creating this piece for her and she just watched me there were some days that I was able to go and she wasn't there and she would come back and she would just stare at it she was so excited you always want to make sure you get your edges down and that you don't have any bubbles and you ensure that by making sure you have a smooth application a really even coat and as you can see see how DIY paint darkens up as soon as it um, gets a top coat on it liquid patina has top coat in it it's not something that I would use for furniture I would use it for signs but it does have a top coat and you can see how it changes the color so DIY paint goes through several phases of colors when it's wet when it's dry when you sealed it and then when it's the final um, application I always try to line my paper up to the edge or right outside the edge so that this way I could sand it off to get a clean, crisp edge. And whenever I have nooks and crannies, I just take it slowly and I do it one step at a time and I just move it up into that piece. And honestly, I should have done this backwards. I should have started at the top and then worked my way down, but that's okay. It worked. Whenever you have odd shapes, just take your time and do one section at a time. And if it doesn't work out, you could always sand it down. You could always paint over it. You could always put another paper over it. You can change it up. It's just paint. So now I'm taking the drawers out and I'm making sure that all of my edges are firmly um, adhered um, normally I use a little blade I used what I had there because I didn't I forgot to bring it and then I take my sanding sponge and I um, sand off the edges so that I can get that clean edge and then I go back and I apply the liquid patina to seal it so this is what it looks like up to this point the green is so crisp and well blended. The tarnished pearl with the beadboard, 
um, stripes look amazing the decoupage looks great and then I went ahead and I started um, waxing it and I forgot that I wanted to do something different with the hardware so I went ahead and I created a green wax with the green color that I had made and clear wax and I just applied it on to the hardware I wasn't kidding they watched me <laughs> This is normally where I would say DIY paint wax um, creates a freak out factor where it gets splotchy and you just think that you've messed up your piece. In this case, this is what it looked like a day later. I freaked out. I could not believe, I didn't know what happened. It was like an oily mess. I was so stressed out. It was the hottest day ever and it had been really hot the day before so I sent my husband to go buy a fan and we just put the fan on it I didn't know what to do after three or four days it finally dried and evened out and as you can see it came out perfect but I'm gonna tell you I was stressed out I had never had that experience but we were in the outdoor porch and it was so hot the house was hot and after a while, I mean, it took days, it turned out great. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that you were inspired by it and I hope that you learned something new or that it was just entertaining for you. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. I hope you have an incredibly blessed day.